comes to confidence, I find that it's not a destination that you arrive at. It's something that you need to keep working on every single day. If you're growing and developing yourself, you're being faced with new challenges. Your situations and circumstances are evolving and you may need to level up your confidence so that you can meet those new challenges. When I think of the epitome of confidence, I think of a picture I found of my seven-year-old self. In that photo, I'm wearing this ordinary dress, a Smurf necklace, dealy boppers like this on my head, my hair is a mess, and I'm missing my two front teeth. But I'm posing in this photo with a picture of pure joy on my face. That is confidence, being unapologetically who you are and showing up who you are with a smile on your face, ready to go, ready to take on the world. So my advice is to channel that seven-year-old self. We're not born to think that we aren't worthy, that we are less than, we are born confident. The world changes that judgment, other people's opinions and situations can make us doubt ourselves. So if you can't channel your seven-year-old self, go hang around with a bunch of four-year-olds wearing superhero shirts. They love themselves. They're a great example of confidence. I think confidence is all about loving yourself and who you are, flaws and all, missing teeth and ugly dress, it doesn't matter. If you struggle to find things that you love about yourself, I would say find somebody that cares about you. How would your best friend talk about you? I spend a lot of time on my inner voice training and that self-talk. If you're struggling to have positive self-talk, ask somebody who cares about you, what do you love about me? Write it down, read it every single day. Confidence starts by loving who you are and being at peace with yourself and realizing that you are worthy of the best that life has to offer.